Um, as mentioned uh, by Paul uh, earlier, in your previous talk, we define being a Christian as priest. Uh, I'm not going to go into this in detail, but essentially, one of the aspects is this. In fact, when I was uh, attending my CLP, yung sinabi ko, experiencing the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, for me, hindi ko na ako nisyado. Kasi, honestly, I know the Holy Spirit as a, uh, alam ko, doon ang araw ni mga kapatid ko, it's full of the Holy Spirit. That was, <laughs> that was as far as my knowledge and of the Holy Spirit was, ano? So, well, in the third place, parang may kulang pala. And it was only during my CLP that that was pointed out. And I would like to go back to, uh, honestly, I was also like one of these, no? uh, there was a 19th century philosopher, the British Nietzsche. He's actually an atheist. No? Uh, he started a movement that God is dead. And his main line was this, Christians will need to look more redeemed before I believe in their redeemer. Diba? Christians will need to look to look more redeemed before I believe in their redeemer. And that is true. Diba? Uh, for example, I'm a, uh, I'm a uh, new in Lincoln and I see, and I see, let's say, the brothers and sisters looking very, leading sinful lives and not really having the life that God promised. It could be poor witnessing. And I think this philosopher saw that in the majority of the Christians. And that is even true up to now, di ba? In our office, I was recently elected as president. For us, it's a sentence. <laughs> in our office, we do projects, no? In other words, when we do projects, in the no projects, mula, di ba? I have a client, we deliver the projects, that's it. No, it's very, you your time, you have a lot of time, because if you have good engineers under you, you just, you just have to set the direction and it can will be done to be delivered. But when I was elected president, now I have to interview the operational side, no? Uh, yung accounting, okay, accounting pala siya, no? Kaya kung nagahan ng accounting doon, mag-iyak-iyak na ako, so wala ko paanap na ako. Uh, admin, yung mga HR namin, so hindi hindi ko yun. Now, wala mo sabihin ang interview with an accountant. So, interview ko, and then tinanong siya. What can you say about, uh, let's say, uh, having two books? Uh, in accounting term, may dalawang libro usually. Uh, yung internal, yung totoo, at meron kang isa pang PIR. PIR. Malamang dun sa PIR is an uh, under-declaration of everything, except the expenses. No? So, mababain ka mo doon, malaking taxes mo doon, at the end of the day, maliit ang taxes mo doon. So, ganun na. And that's actually very prevalent in our law. Uh, probably, tanong niyo accountant niyo, ma'am, meron ko tayong two books na no? yan. But it's supposed to be a law, but the reason why I ask this in, from, in, in, in my application is I want to see where they stand. Okay. And would you believe, uh, I haven't encountered an applicant who would say that uh, with conviction that I will never do that. The most was that, um, actually, ano eh, Ayaw ko kasi yung mga katulong lumayos, pero ang naisindihan ko rin kasi practical naman siya, di ba? Less with tax, ito ka, kinukura ko ka naman ng gobyerno. Saan mo sa akin dahilan yan? But I ask, so, and most of these are Christians, ano? Catholics. So, para sa akin, they know that's wrong, okay? Lahat kami sa nalang sabi, hindi mali siya eh. Pero, pwede na rin, kung yan yung... That's required by me, by, by, the, by the company, I can do it, etc., etc. As long as hindi lang siya pumirpa para hindi siya makatulog. Kasi baka hindi lang siya makatulog, yung mga ganun. But essentially, if you look, if you see Christians like this, no, how can I believe in your Redeemer when you yourself do not live a redeemed life? No? Ako magkasasalita ako, power of the Holy Spirit, na sabi ko, ano mo, lulo na lulo na ako sa kasalanan eh. That's because of the power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Di ba? Parang medyo nakaka-discourage. And this philosopher had that impression. But actually, Christians before were very different. Okay. Uh, maganda ng season ngayon, diba? Next week, uh, I think this coming Sunday is Pentecost. No? The coming of the Holy Spirit. If you read the Bible, most of our readings, first reading, anong, anong chapter tayo? Nasa Acts of the Apostles, diba? 
Acts of the Apostles. Uh, in Acts 2 verses 44 to 47, all who believed were together and had all things in common. They ate their meals with exaltation and sincerity of heart, praising God and enjoying favor with all the people. And every day the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. You know, when I entered this room, I was happy. Because they ate their meals in the long <laughs> They added to their number, of course. No? Not, not the meals, no. But uh, I'm just so happy na ito. You know, when I was in Lincoln with this, there was even a CLP na we had one, actually it was a cross, it was a, during that time it was a retreat for men, lalaki lang. So mas mahirap daw talaga yung lalaki. <laughs> so, so in terms of in, a, in our annual schedule, we have a retreat for men only, and then a CLP for men and women, and then a retreat for men only. But there was one retreat that I served, but we only had one participant. And there were probably 20 of us servants. Let's mother him with our crowd. But honestly, when we were there, para, it was very discouraging. And we uh, decided, diba, alam mo, even for this one soul, which we can't help, it would not be worth it. So we proceeded to buy a big venue, we had a big venue, we had a big venue, we had a big venue, Um, I don't know if you read a couple of weeks back. I can't recall the exact verse. There was this reading about Paul. He saw at Tarsus, diba? he had a conversion. The conversion was so dramatic. It was 360 degrees. It was 180 degrees. It was 360 degrees. It was 180 degrees. And then what happened was, he was the, actually the one who was very, very passionate in proclaiming God. In fact, more passionate even compared to the apostles. Diba? Siya talaga yung, he really, he really parang suffered a lot just to, to bring Christ to the Jews and even to the Gentiles. No? Without him, probably, baka hindi natin narinig itong good news ito from God. But there was a particular reading that really struck me. Si Paul was in the synagogue. Okay? He was proclaiming Jesus. Of course, during that time, the, the synagogue officials, yung mga priests during that time, alam na lang pinatayan na si Jesus, di ba? Akala na tapos na yung problema nila. But here comes this different uh, men, ano? Pumunta sila ko, nagtuturo pa rin. And, and they basically incited the people. And what the people did, there was mob rule. Kinuha si Paul, in his stone, diba? Pinagbabato. And drag him out of the temple, tapos pinagbabato, and left him for dead. Now, that line, left him for dead, I would presume, talagang hindi naman left him for dead tapos ang ayos-ayos sa itsura mo, di ba? People will think that you're dead kung wala kang putok-putok yung mukha mo, di ba? Saan ka mukha ka ng patay? Kasi iwan na lang nila eh. And then the next line was, Paul stood up then went to the next town. What did he do to the next town? He preached again. What power, di ba? What power? Di ba? Kung si Paul, pagkabatuhin natin, diba? Kasi word eh, tumayo pa rin. O, let's have a prayer meeting, o, diba? Parang with all this trend, diba? <laughs> oh, multo, hindi ano. Which is, what power? Paul was so focused, and his focus was not primarily from his own strength, no? It can only come from the Holy Spirit. Patay na. He, uh, he ignored all of this because he had to do, he had to preach God's good news to the rest of the people. Those were the Christians before. Tayo ngayon, can we do that? If, uh, there's a, there's a uh, opportunity to do wrong. Are we going to stand up? Now, the Holy Spirit, okay, common notions, you know, I'm going to, this is very, when I say common notions, this is how we usually understand the Holy Spirit. As I mentioned before, it's, it's a white dove that sits on the shoulder of Christ. Because, well, we, they cannot fall us. Most of the paintings, from the Holy Spirit, dove naman talaga, di ba? And if you're a kid, mami, naka lang dove. Ayan yung Holy Spirit. Even ako, when my two sisters go to the school of the Holy Spirit, akala ko Holy Spirit, iskolahan, di ba? Ma? <laughs> Holy Spirit, kaya. <laughs> <I'm being good. laughs> we have all those misconceptions, but you know, such common notions, um, 
Do not really properly illustrate the Holy Spirit.